sweet. Welcome back. Carl Smith has often been described as one of the best honky-tonk singers ever. But his early efforts in the music business seemed to end as quickly as they began until he met comedian Archie Campbell. Archie hired Carl as a bass player and sometimes singer on his Knoxville, Tennessee radio shows, Country Playhouse and The Dinner Bell. With Archie's help, success soon followed. Carl first appeared on the Opry as a guest of Hank Williams in March of 1950 and soon became a regular on the show. By the time we see him here, Carl had achieved 23 top tens, including five number ones. Let's take a look. Thank you, and welcome to our little holiday social. We're glad to have all you folks with us. We've got a lot of folks here having a big time decorating the Christmas tree and finish wrapping the packages. We've got a lot of Christmas songs, a lot of country songs. I'd like to do one for you right now. Fellas, start it. You got your be on help. Now what did you want? Well, Hank, Hank Snow sent me to get some more of these here tree arms. Now I can't find it nowhere. Mr. Well, now I haven't seen Hank in the last ten or fifteen. Jody, quit eating the cookies. You're going to eat them all up before anything ever starts. Well, I, I quit eating them, Mister Smith, and I'll go over here and get me a couple of cups of punch. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is it ready? Yeah, yeah the girls got it all set out. I don't. Well, I tell you what, I'll go with you, Jody, because I like punch too. <laughs> well, while we're over here getting her punch, we'll have a little holiday cheer from Nita, Rita, and Ruth.
plans that we've made Walking in a winter wonderland Walking, walking in a winter, winter wonderland Nita, Rita and Ruby only performed together for a couple of years, but their smooth country pop sound was always a crowd pleaser. Two of the trio's members were from famous country music families. Nita is Anita Carter, youngest daughter of Mother Maybelle Carter. And Ruby is the daughter of Queen of Country Music Kitty Wells and her husband Johnny Wright. And what about Cousin Jody? Well, if there ever was a face meant for comedy, it was his. But Jody's talents far exceeded the toothless grin. His real name was Clell Summy, and as a pioneer dobro player, his distinctive style can be heard on Roy Acuff's original recordings of Great Speckle Bird and the Wabash Cannonball. When we return, we'll see if Cousin Jody ever finds Hank Snow. <laughs> We've got a taste kids love. And that's why we keep popping up in kitchens across the country. Downy Flake waffles from Hungry Jack. We even give you four more waffles than the other guys. More crispy waffles with moist, tender insides. So kids get more of the waffles they love. And we keep popping up. Kids want more, we give you more. Downy Flake Waffles from Hungry Jack. God's work and God's word have always been important to me. Hello, I'm Johnny Cash. I wasn't as good at finding chapter and verse as I wanted to be till I discovered the Franklin Electronic Bible. Now I find verse in an instant by typing the book and chapter or phrase. This miraculous electronic Bible is easy to use and is easy to keep with you. The Franklin Electronic Bible. Spend more time on the beauty and wisdom of Holy Scripture and less time looking things up. And with the new Bookman feature, it's a snap to add a book. Presenting the Dremel Multi Pro. You cut, Dremel cuts. You sharpen, Dremel sharpens. You polish, Dremel polishes. You drill, Dremel drills. You clean, Dremel cleans. You sand, Dremel sands. You grind, Dremel grinds. You hammer. Did I mention we cut? The Dremel Multi-Pro. With up to 30,000 RPM, it has the speed you need to power through hundreds of jobs. Now with five-year warranty. Sun-made raisins never slow down. about some cheese for your pizza or perfect salad shooter hash browns for breakfast vegetables sliced or shredded and nothing tops a salad like salad shooter. slicer shredder from presto Helps you every day. saturday have a statler brothers christmas with john barry and, Lord, and barbara manfrell The Statler Brothers Christmas Show, Saturday on a TNN Country Christmas. back there behind the tree putting some more decorations on. Ain't that the finest tree you ever oh, looked at? Oh, that's a pretty one, boy. Old Santa really Claus will be proud pretty. of that, won't he? You know, Carl, that makes me think. Uh, for my money, I think this is the best season of the year. You know, Christmas season, folks dropping in, and uh, lots of fun, and especially real sweet, beautiful music. You're so right, Hank, and I've got something in mind. I was thinking about one of those special Hank Snow reindeer songs. Well, now, let's see. Do you mean the reindeer boogie? That's the one I was thinking about. You kids like it, don't you? Coffee and he ate a little snack. Throwed his old pack right over his back. Opened the window of his little shack and shouted, Oh, dash around down to the and that flips and come on here. We gotta get a going with the bread and cheer. So let me your legs and shop at your hooks. Cause the night is the night we're gonna jump to the book. Well, the reindeer they were so proud and grand. They came up with them all over the land. They jumped right into their proper place. They can't have stuff for that midnight bread. Have it up. Oh, 
yell, let's go. All the little boys were happy to be, cause there was a variety of news. A little piano that started to play, old Santa began to swing and sway. But he heard a toy drop start to beat, but he found it was the rhythm of the reindeer's feet. Well, the reindeer boogie in the middle of the room. Tonight we have a mighty big low dog boogie to the left, a boogie to the right, to the reindeer boogie, the Christmas Eve night. Boogie now. I'm looking for Hank Snow. Uh, well, here uh, I am. Uh, where do you think Hey, Joe, right, Hank Snow. <laughs> there you are, buddy. I I've see been you're. Uh, I, eat your well, arms, you know. I see you're still eating. Yeah, I'm still eating. What did Carl and I tell you about stealing the refreshments? Well, I can't help it, Mr. Hank. Everything tastes so good. I, I try to have myself all the fun I can at these here parties. It's a I can tell you, know. All your friends show up and, hey, speaking of friends, take a look over there. There's somebody we've been waiting yeah. for. Well, so it is. Wow, wasn't that something? Hank Snow's unique vocal delivery is probably the most recognizable in country music. By the time Hank joined the Opry in 1950, he had already been a recording star in his native Canada for more than a decade. When we return, little Jimmy Dickens is going to drop by and talk about Christmas at the Opry over the years. How's your job? Great. There's still a lot of stress, though. You still getting those headaches? Yeah. Yeah, I actually went to the doctor. I thought they might be migraines. He said they weren't. He told me to take Tylenol, extra strength. Tylenol? Not some prescription, huh? The Tylenol works great, Dad. More than aspirin, more than ibuprofen. For headaches, doctors recommend Tylenol the most. You should have come to work for me, Julie. <laughs> oh, sure. No stress there. It wouldn't be the holidays without pie, so today we're going to make an easy pie crust from scratch. Easy? <laughs> we'll show them easy. First, gather all your ingredients, measure, mix, make a ball. Or just unfold, fill, and bake. For a pie crust that's now flakier than ever and tastes more like homemade, follow this simple recipe. Pillsbury Refrigerated Pie Crust. Mm, it's as easy as you know what. Ho -ho! When you're smiling, when you're smiling, the whole world smiles with you. You know, people who like Freedent because it won't stick to most dental work love Freedent because it's soft to chew and deliciously long-lasting, too. That's why they stick with the gum that won't. Non-stick Freedent, the perfect gum for almost perfect teeth. Go. Scoop it in. Chow it down. Wipe it up. Manwich. Easy to make, easy to eat. It'll give cleaning your plate a whole new meaning. Hey, face up to it. I've got a mouth for manwich. No kidding, we can see that. Energizer introduces the on-battery tester. Just press the dots to make sure your battery will keep going and going. It's so amazing, it uh, pretty much sells itself. Really? Sun-made raisins never slow down. Count the reasons you need a Presto Fry Daddy deep fryer. Perfect frying temperature, cups of oil, not quartz, non-stick finish inside and out, store oil to use again, handy scoop, not a messy basket, and the food, delicious Presto deep fryers. Welcome back to Opry Christmas Past. One of the most dynamic and energetic performers to ever grace the Grand Ole Opry stage has stopped by to share some memories with us. Uh, Country Music Hall of Famer, Little Jimmy Dickens. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine. You say dynamic and energetic, you're talking a long ways back, aren't you? <laughs> no, how you doing? Everything good? Everything's fine, Steve. You uh, bet. 
I was you you joined the Opry in 1948, right, Jim? Yes, I came in October of 1948. And that was uh, a little bit before uh, some of the folks on this footage, uh, Carl Smith and Hank Snow. I guess. Yeah. I, I guess seeing this footage uh, probably brings back some uh, great Christmas Opry memories for you, huh? Oh, does it ever? Yeah, that's you know, TV was uh, new and everybody was uh, uh, really anxious and and uh, it was a new experience for everyone. And then of course, uh, uh, every Christmas is special. Uh, with the folks at the Opry. And, uh, we all just get together, everybody's in off the road and have a lot of fun. What's the differences between, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm curious about this, the differences between Christmases at the old Ryman and the new Opry. Is there any major differences or is it kind of the same feel, family Nothing, thing? Nothing more than the facility, the facility, right. you know, that we do it. And uh, uh, everybody's in the spirit of Christmas and uh, it, it's, it, it's a good time for everyone. And, and uh, I love Christmas, don't you? Oh, I love it. I, I absolutely too. love it. It's my favorite time of year. Uh, I know you have, uh, I've been by your house at Christmas time and you have, you, you guys can really get into the spirit. You have a lot of lights out there. Uh, well. I do the, the outside and my wife does the inside and yeah. uh, uh, we enjoy doing it. Taking it down is not the fun that it should be, but, but putting it up is fun. You got to tell me a little bit about this. I heard a piece of this, but I don't know the story. About a couple years ago, you were locked out of your house or something at Christmas time. What, now, what's, Steve, what's, I, I wish what's you hadn't brought that up. That? I wish you hadn't brought that up. That, that was not a pleasant experience. Was it snow? I mean, what? Snow on the ground? What was it? What? It was about 14 degrees and the wind blowing 30 mile an hour. <laughs> and, and I went out on the front deck. My house was kind of built like a boat that sticks way out over the driveway. And, and I went out on that front deck to turn the... I had a, a cross out there for Christmas lights. Mm -hmm. And I, I went, I'd just gotten out of the shower and put on a, a robe. And I walked out there to, at almost midnight to turn those lights off. But there's a bar that goes in that sliding door on the floor. And when I stepped out there, I heard that bar roll back in there. <laughs> oh, no. No way I could get back in. Oh, no. And my wife had been in bed asleep for almost an hour or, or more in the back bedroom and there was no way to wake her up. I beat on the glass till I thought oh, it would shatter. Unbelievable. And have you ever, <laughs> I, I thought about climbing over that wrought iron rail and dropping down to the ground and then I give that a second thought. If you break a leg or something, you'll lay here and freeze to death. Uh, but have you ever thrown your leg over a wrought iron I don't believe a I naked can say leg I over a wrought iron rail? I can't say that I have. Ooh, it'll stick with you. <laughs> It'll stick with you. Yeah, unbelievable. It was a terrible experience. Let's see, Grandpa Jones and Ramona, uh, they came to the Opry about the same time as you, didn't they? Pretty much around uh, that same era? Yeah, I era. think so. About that same time with Carl Smith and George Morgan and a lot of these people. And, and here comes Ray Price and Farron Young and all these oh, others. Oh, yeah. Well, That's a, what a great era. You uh, bet. Uh, I get, you probably know, uh, obviously I know you've got a bunch of great grandpa stories, but I know you know how Grandpa came about his name. Well, it seems that back in the 1930s, he was working with the legendary ballad singer Bradley Kincaid doing early morning radio shows. When he showed up for work every morning, he was always grouchy. And Bradley said it was like working with an old man and dubbed him Grandpa. Grandpa was only 22 at the time, but I guess he's finally grown into the role. A few weeks ago, he and Ramona celebrated their 50th wedding anniversary right on the stage of the Grand Ole Opry. And I want to add my congratulations once again. Let's watch this classic performance where Grandpa and Ramona give a whole new meaning to Jingle Bells. Hey, listen, everybody. That don't sound like no sleigh bells to me. Why, it's Grandpa Jones! Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to our little shindig. It's really nice to have you, but what are you wearing these for? Well, son, when Christmas season comes around, the Jones family is the only one in the Tennessee Hills that don't use them what you call sleigh bells. <laughs> now, look, I'd say the only family in the entire United States. Yeah. But yeah. tell me, what does your family do for Christmas music? Why? Now, Grandpa, wait a minute. <laughs> well, now you just, you just get back there just a little bit, oh, and we'll right. give us a little room, oh, we'll show you.
here to try and I just for that, come on over and have some refreshments. Oh, yeah. Uh, Jimmy, I come from a pretty good-sized family, uh, and I've got some, you know, neat memories from our, from my childhood with all my brothers and sisters and all that. What's some of your memories from your childhood Christmas time? Uh, I was raised in the in the coal mining region in the mountains of West Virginia, and uh, uh, those memories, of course, stick out in your mind more than anything in the world because uh, we we were poor, but we didn't know it, you know, one of those things, and. Uh, didn't get much for Christmas, like an apple and an orange and a popcorn ball. And one year I got a flashlight and no batteries, you know, one of those <laughs> things. That sticks out in your mind forever. <laughs> Two Christmases that stick out in my mind and will always be with me that I enjoyed so very much was with the American military men and women oh, in the armed yeah. forces of Vietnam. I was there two Christmases, and I, I'll never forget those. Wow, that's a memory. Yes. Hey, thank you very much for being with us. And You're I, most welcome. I want to say something on a personal note. I, when I was inducted into the Grand Ole Opry, the first person in my dressing room to congratulate me that night was little Jimmy Dickens, and I want to say, I, you don't know what that means to me. Well, you're overdue. Well, thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, you, you betcha. You're a very talented really young man, that. and beside that, you're a gentleman, and we love you. Well, thank you so thank much. You. More Opry Christmas Pass right after this. Thanks, Jim. If you're a puppy, you've got to wonder what there is to look forward to after this. Thank goodness there's Purina Puppy Chow with chicken protein. It's the taste puppies love, from the brand that's raised more puppies than any other. Purina Puppy Chow with chicken protein. Just when a puppy figures life will never get any better, it does. Let us celebrate this supper with merriment, with song, with crescent rolls. Did someone forget the crescent rolls? Don't worry, they're right here. Pillsbury crescent rolls are one tradition you don't want to forget this Christmas. So warm and flaky, they've got that fresh from the oven taste everybody loves. Make sure you remember them at your Christmas feast. And we're thankful for this delicious food. Let's eat! <laughs> <laughs> Coming up on Thursday's TNN Country News, Steve Warner trades his guitar for an apron. Plus, hear all about Tom T. Hall's new book from the storyteller himself. TNN Country News, weeknights. I mean, I'm just an ordinary person. I'm just uh, a teacher and, and a coach. Service and convenience are important to Mercantile Bank customer Tim Latham. You know, what little money I have is, is with the bank. I have the the ATM card, which also doubles as the preferred check card, which is great. It works like a visa. I use the telebank if I want to, if I'm going out to eat, and I need to make sure I can afford to go out to eat. The services they offer, the atmosphere, just the whole package, it's just, it's the best. It's the number one bank. If you're looking for ways to save money this holiday season, then you need to shop Price Cutter. Just listen to what people all across the state had to say about their Price Cutter experience. I saved $16. I saved $19.65. I saved $14.20. I saved $14.33. I saved $22.53. I saved about $10 shopping here at Price Cutter. I saved $10.58. Isn't it time you took the Price Cutter challenge? Remember, Price Cutter really does have the lowest total food bill guaranteed. Hey, welcome back. Time has dimmed the memory of the multi-talented Lou Childry. He found his way to country music by way of the old medicine show, vaudeville, and tent show circuits of the Southwest. One of the greatest one-man shows ever, he could entertain with a good story, a buck dance, or a number on a small Spanish Martin guitar played Hawaiian style. He came to this Christmas party with not one, but two dates, Miss Minnie Pearl from Grinder Switch and gospel vocal stylist Martha Carson. Yeah. 
might as well to be some too. Ah, oh, come on, you miss the guitar with your two chords and talk to the old doctor. Just standing over there thanking you, they, there's no be complete without the good doctor shaking the leg a little bit. You know, huh? Well, so Mr. Carl, you know I've got the leg and I've got the, the shoes hanging on to the feet, so I might as well shake a leg. Children, if you all just back back here a little bit and give the old doctor room, man, I'm going to hit myself a hot leg or two, and I don't mean maybe. <laughs> You know, boy, I got so all carried away with myself here that I done forgotten about my two dates that I brought to this party. Two dates? Yeah, man, you know there's always protection in numbers, my boy, and I done think <laughs> Two dates for this party. By George, looking out there, I see one of them coming now. All the way from Grind to Switch, it's Miss Minnie Pearl. Hey! <laughs> to play a trick on old Rodney yeah. Blackfield. See, oh, he don't know it, but I'm going to put on this bit, and I'm going to be Santa Claus, and he won't know who I am. Oh, is that And we'll right? have some fun. We will really have some fun. All right, I'll tell you what now, Minnie. You run over there, and, uh, and the girls over at the fireplace have to put on your suit, see? And then, then when you come back, we'll... We'll fix it, boy. <laughs> well, don't y'all give me away now. Oh, well, we'll, 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 we won't tell no, nobody. Boy, oh, that'll be fine. Now, that, that's one of them. You said two girls. Two, two girls? Yeah. Well, buddy, don't never, don't never doubt the old doctor's power. Just gently follow him, and I will introduce to you Miss Martha Carson. Well, <laughs> thank you very much, sir. And right now, with the help of the wonderful Anita Kerr-Singers, we'd like to sing one of our very favorite Christmas songs for you, Peace on Earth at Christmas Time. <laughs>
When Minnie Pearl teamed up with Rod Brassfield in the 1940s, country comedy was elevated to new heights. The little man in the baggy clothes with his Charlie Chaplin demeanor could milk an audience for every laugh they had. Minnie said she always thought funny when she was around Rod because she knew what was going on in the little fool's head. <laughs> when we return, Miss Minnie puts another one over on Rodney. for the time of your life. Let us celebrate this supper with merriment, with song, with crescent rolls. Did someone forget the crescent rolls? <laughs> don't worry, they're right here. Pillsbury crescent rolls are one tradition you don't want to forget this Christmas. So warm and flaky, they've got that fresh from the oven taste everybody loves. Make sure you remember them at your Christmas feast. And we're thankful for this delicious food. Let's eat. <laughs> <laughs> For light bladder control protection, poise pads absorb 30% faster than before and lock liquid in better than the leading maxis. So you'll be comfortable, confident. Poise pads, now with the moisture lock liner, give you the freedom to be yourself. Go ahead. Celebrate. Dear Robert, you know I've had trouble sleeping, so I took your advice and got Unisom. It felt good to hear the pharmacist say it's not habit-forming, and even better after getting a wonderful, wonderful night's sleep. sleep. Thanks to you. Love, Mom. You've got that nighttime heartburn, burning and churning, so what are you going to take, Santac 75 or Maalox? Maalox starts to work on stomach acid in about one minute. Zantac 75 could take over 45 minutes to start working. So make one minute Maalox the fast choice for you. I wonder how old many pearls coming along, huh? All right, all right. I just tried to get my beard fixed well, on here. Well, get your beard fixed up. Uh, they, now, every, everybody be real serious and don't say anything because he's coming out here now. Here he comes, Rod Brassfield. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, excuse me, Sandy. Hey, Miss Carl, put I them under the Christmas tree, buddy. All right, I sure will. Hey, now, sorry, I bumped into it. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean it. Sandy. Oh, what's going on? You ain't your Sandy Claus. No. Oh, they ain't your Sandy Claus. Good gracious a lot. You're just trying to fool somebody. I bet there's somebody here on the Grand Ole Opera just trying to fool. Let me hear you laugh. Oh, 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 Ernest Tom, this is all over the world. I know I learned his stuff. I know I laugh at him. I sort of say, I don't leave me. And then, no. <laughs> Little Jimmy Dixon, that's who you are. No, Flitter, no, you couldn't be Jimmy. Moon Molly, that's who it is. Moon Molly, that's who it is. That's who No? Well, no, I guess it ain't Moon. <laughs> Come think of moon is skinnier than you are, Sandy. <laughs> Around the clock, I never did think it was a... I, maybe I've got the real thing here. <laughs> hey, Sandy. Come here a minute, Sandy. I won't talk to you, old buddy. <laughs> yeah, I tell what I want you to bring me, Sandy. Oh, buddy, look, I've hung my sock up three times and the board of health took it down every time. <laughs> Have what? you been a good little boy? A good little boy? I've been the best. I ever seen, I reckon. Now, I want you to, I'm going to ask for a lot, Sandy, old buddy. I want you to bring me a new car. That's right, I want you to bring me a new car. My old car is all right, Sandy, old buddy. It's a good car, but but uh, it, it's got a good pickup yet. It picked up two blondes and a brunette in two blocks last night. I want a new 
doing, though? How, how many does your old car hold? Oh, it's a five passenger, but it'll hold about eight if they're well acquainted. <laughs> When you bring me into your new car, say, you know what I'm going to do with it? What? <laughs> I'm going to take it to a garage and have it greased all over on the outside. What for? That's so the finance company can't get a hold of it. <laughs> hey, Sandy. Shh, don't tell nobody, but the mainest thing I want you to bring me, Sandy, is a, is a, a thin blonde. <laughs> what size? Uh, what size? Uh, <laughs> well, size. <laughs> Don't be particular. I tell you what, you might bring me one sort of shape like a bull fiddle. You know, a long neck and then a little bit and then not much and then... <laughs> How about it, Daddy? <laughs> Boy, when I get that nice new car and that new sand block and I'm... You see, we'll see you. <laughs> And here's our special guest for tonight, a great friend, a great guy, a great singer, Mr. Eddie Arnold. Father, a blessed angel came, and a 
down to certain shepherds brought tidings of the same. How that in Bethlehem was born the Son of God by name, all tidings of comfort and joy. Comfort and joy, all tidings of comfort and joy. Comfort and joy, all tidings. The Jordanaires toured with Eddie Arnold in the mid-1950s, and when the show played Memphis in late 1955, they met a little-known singer who offered them work if his music career ever succeeded. Well, it did, and a few months later, they joined Elvis Presley and were a part of his hit records and movies for the next 15 years. And Eddie Arnold? Well, he was one of the few country entertainers whose success was unaffected by the rock and roll revolution looming on the horizon. We'll be back shortly with a little Christmas news from Grinder Switch and see if Miss Minnie comes close to finding the perfect man when she's joined by Eddie Arnold. I've been around this land of ours from sea to shining sea. And if it stands for anything, it's that every man is free. Free to roam from city to city to ride the open range. Free to come and go at will to grab hold of the reins. But if you want to see the country in its glory and its pride, you've got to have a trusty mount that's always ready to ride. I am in week 10 of quitting smoking, six weeks on the Nicotrol patch and in my fourth week of off the Nicotrol patch. In six weeks, less than a summer, you could turn your life around. It's amazing. New Nicotrol with the shortest quitting plan, only six weeks. Nothing has been proven to work better. And Nicotrol helps control cravings so you can quit. And at the end of six weeks, I was ready to say I'm a no smoker, not ready to say, well, I think I'll go down to a smaller dosage now. Look for the red I quit check. Six weeks, one step. Take control with Nicotrol. Presenting the Dremel Multi-Pro. You cut, Dremel cuts. You sharpen, Dremel sharpens. You polish, Dremel polishes. You drill, Dremel drills. You clean, Dremel cleans. You sand, Dremel sands. You grind, Dremel grinds. You hammer. Did I mention we cut? The Dremel Multi-Pro. With up to 30,000 RPM, it has the speed you need to power through hundreds of jobs. Now with five-year warranty. Finally, great popcorn from your microwave. Power Pop! Presto Power Pop Microwave Multi Popper. Exclusive power base concentrates microwaves to pop virtually every kernel. Pop with oil for a buttery flavor. Power pop. pop without oil for a healthier, low fat snack. Dishwasher safe too. Nothing pops like Power Pop. And it's endorsed by Orville Redenbacher. Power pop. Now, great bacon from your microwave. Fast, lean, delicious. Easiest on, easiest off. Power Crisp, only from Presto. Betty Crocker Frosting. Maybe you like yours rich and creamy. Or maybe you like a softer, fluffier whipped frosting. Either way, Betty's got you covered. With Betty Crocker, life is sweet. Some made raisins. Never slow down. Christmas time, just the most exciting time there is. Oh, I just love Christmas. I think I like this season of the year most because this year is the season where you're supposed to love your fellow men. And that's what I do. I love the fellows and I love the men. <laughs> oh, I just wish I could take all of you, every single one of you, down to grind and switch with me where I live at and have Christmas with us. We have such a good time, Mammy and brother and sister and Uncle Nabob and all of us. And then, of course, my feller always comes over there every Christmas time. He gives me something every Christmas. One year he gave me the measles. But I've always been thinking maybe he might get around to sort of getting me something, you know, from my left hand. So that's their finger right there on my left hand. One time he said he was going to give me something with a lot of carrots in it. He gave me a rabbit. 
Well, sir, last year, though, he brought me up here to do some Christmas shopping, and he bought my Christmas present, and he paid $10 for it. He would have paid more than that, but that's all the money I had with me. Well, I, I don't guess he's perfect, and I don't reckon you could find the perfect fella, but ain't it fun to try? Woo! That's what I do, just try and try. Hey, honey, what are you doing over here all by your staff? Don't you know you're missing all the fun? Oh, I ain't missing no fun. I was having a good time over here just sort of reminiscing about grinders, switch, and Christmas time. Yes, sure, my eyes. Eddard, you remember how much fun it was at Christmas time when you lived back on a farm, don't you? Oh, I sure do, Minnie. You know, the gifts weren't so fancy, but we were all together around the tree and out in the kitchen, and Mom was busy cooking and fixing up the meal. When I sit down for Christmas dinner this year, I'll be thinking about those days on the farm and, and be thinking about the part the farm plays in our own life this day and time and the things that they provide for us. You know, most everything on my table will be the result of their hard work and the new kind of implements that they have to supply us with food. Sure, the farmer gets his paycheck. And sometimes the return for his labor is a little short. But you know, the real satisfaction comes from being a free man on his own farm. Many, I, I didn't really mean, he aimed to make a speech. <laughs> oh, I liked it, Eddie. I, did it? Well, yeah. I kind of got in the Christmas spirit here. I kind of feel Christmas coming on. I believe Christmas can't be far away. A neighbor tipped his hat to me this morning. The landlord even smiled and said good day. Alone. Christmas can't be far away. Old Tightwad down the street is buying candy to pass out to the neighbor kids that play. The town is on the go, the weatherman said snow. Christmas can't be far And now they're hiding things and looking sly. Mom will get that new dad she's been craving. And dad will get his usual Christmas pie. Both young and old look plenty sweet surprises. They'll soon be tied with ribbons bright and gay. Everywhere Christmas can't be far away. The small fry on our block have all been saving, and now they're hiding things and looking fine. Mom will get this today, she's been craving, and Dad will get his usual Christmas time. Young and old are planning sweet surprises. They'll soon be tied with ribbons bright and gay. But will is in the air. You feel it everywhere. Christmas can't be far. Thank you so much for stopping by and sharing our family's memories of an Opry Christmas past. We hope this is a holiday season filled with peace and love when all your dreams come true and that you're blessed with the spirit of what the writer Earl Hamner Jr. calls the giving heart. Happy holidays. to you by Southwest Airlines, the airlines for Music City, USA.
Primetime Country, next on TNN. I'm Colin Ray, wishing you a happy holiday season. Join us as a TNN Country Christmas continues all through December.